So do you know, do you know what an alpaca is? I bet you you do. Uh, some of you may not know that they're related to llamas and camels. Yes. We've got a few of them here, right? And there is an alpaca farm not far from Detroit, and oh, these yeah. animals are being raised right in our own backyard. So video journalist Alex Atwell traveled to Gibraltar Bay to find out more about alpacas for this uniquely Detroit, and I'm going to get over this here. <laughs> You guys ready? Come on. Come on. This is Gibraltar Bay Alpaca. Oh, you guys. Oh, you guys. It's my husband and I run and own this, and we love what we do. We're located on Grosse Hill. It's a beautiful location. You look around, you wouldn't know if you're up North Michigan someplace. Oh, these are alpacas. Well, an alpaca is like a teddy bear that hums. Uh. They hum. You can hug them. You can give them a kiss if you want to on the cheek or forehead. I see you there. And they're from South America. They're from Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. What's appealing about them? Oh, come on. They're so sweet. <laughs> yeah, you get a little face like this, and she's just so sweet. <laughs> How can you not love that? Pretty easygoing animals. They just have... I pull them up for a second. This for a second. They just have six teeth on the bottom. They're not going to bite you. Their mouth's just designed for, for cutting grass. They just have six teeth on the bottom, and there's nothing on top. It's just a hard rubber pad, like, on the top. <whistles> Come on, girls. They are in the camel family. If you frighten them, they will spit. That's Clarissa. She's like a little spitter. She'll see herself and spit at herself. <laughs> we have 58 animals on the farm here. That white one there, that's Legacy. They all have names. They all have different personalities. You recognize them just like they're your own kids, you know, what they're talking about, who they're arguing with, and everything else. <laughs> oh yeah, they are smiling. They're the happiest animals around. He's, I know you're just looking at me, aren't you? Yeah, they got a good life here. They got an excellent life here. We raise them for their fiber. We shear them out once a year. He just has this nice red hue about them in the sunlight. Just uh, really unique. Three qualities of uh, fleece that comes off the animals. And the prime or the best fleece comes from behind the front leg up to the base of the neck right here, and in front of the back leg to the top of the tail right here. And that's the blanket. That's the best fleece on the animal. All of these yarns come from our animals. Yarn, thread, anything that they make out of wool, you can make out of alpaca. Actually, and ours is sold by the animal name. This is from Prestige. It is rated the finest fiber in the world. Better than cashmere, better than silk. Sum up alpacas? Well, it's not like work. We love what we do. My wife and I, we haven't regretted it a day what we got into here. Uh, it's a gift from heaven that hums and looks forward to seeing you as you do them. <laughs> we just truly enjoy it. <laughs> oh, we've got a lot of business going on in the studio. You know, you, uh, next week it's sheep herding right here on Live on the D. Uh, in our studio, Gail and Richard Stefke, along with Storm and AJ, and they are here. You just met them all in the piece, and uh, you travel with these guys, right? Oh, yes, yes, we, we do. do. Yeah, so tell us about an alpaca. So what are the facts that we wouldn't know? Because we're feeling them. They're pretty warm, first yes. of all. Oh, their body temperature is about 102 degrees, yeah. and uh, this is pretty warm for them in here right now. They're designed for colder climates. In springtime, we shear them all off and put them in their summer shorts. Oh, but that's cute. Yeah, so they uh, they put in about four to five inches of uh, fleece during the winter time. When you do a shearing on an alpaca, there's a couple different grades of fiber, from behind the front legs up to the base of the neck, and uh -huh. then from the front of the back legs to the top of the tail. And that's your prime fiber, the best fiber that's going to be on the animal. And then the shoulders and the necks and uh, the hips, uh, that's all seconds. And the top of the head, that's curved fleece. So, so I'm going to come this way with yep. Storm. Can you get Storm the back end of Storm? living up to his name today. Storm, oh, yeah. we got to get a I'm tight shot of Storm because this is such a and beautiful Gail. animal. We're and happy. Storm only has, what, six teeth on six the bottom? Six teeth on the right? bottom. So they, they don't really bite. in the back. And, yeah. uh, Look at that. Yeah. And they just chew on, they, they pull in grass. Yep, they just take grass and they just cut it. You know, they just nip it off with their bottom teeth. Oh, my gosh. 
So why would someone have alpacas? You've got them, but you also take care of how many for other, other people? Families. Yeah. Yeah, 18 other families. So we have a total of 58 um, on our farm right now. It's so. fun. You can take them for a walk like you can a dog. Anywhere. Sweet. They'll Something. go anywhere. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> Full disclosure, I've been scared, right, Gail? That's why I ran over here with her for, for safety purposes. But a lot of the owners are knitters. So they have their own source of fiber. Yeah. Alpaca is known to be the finest fiber in the world. Okay. Naturally Gosh. hypoallergenic and yeah. naturally wicks perspiration. Wow. Well, all well, right. This is well, the softest animal. Steph I've Keys, ever thank felt you. We're going to come thank over you. here because we want to see some of these items that are right okay. here with us. And so we're joined by uh, Michelle Pappas. Good to see you. So the Steph Keys take care of one of your alpacas or your only one? Yeah, I only have one. Okay. I've, and why do you have one? It. I just, well, it's fun, and yeah. um, I'm a knitter, so I get, once a year we shear the animals, and I get my fleece from my animal. Yeah. Okay. This uh, scarf here, I knit This is her. amazingly soft stuff. Yeah. I mean, My it's animal is also white, so okay. this okay. is from her uh, fleece here. I can't believe how soft this is. Mm -hmm. It's remarkable. Oh, yeah. Very remarkable. And so do you and do this as a, as a hobby to keep or give away to family, or is this a bit of a business for you then? Um, well, I, I teach classes at the farm. Oh, I see. Wow. Okay. Um, knitting instructions, you know. Yeah. For, and everything from beginning learn to knit to advanced knitting, whatever. Wow. These are samples of some of the things you could learn to knit at the uh -huh. farm. Absolutely lovely. And, so let uh, me ask you this, though. Could I crochet with this yarn? Oh, sure. You could, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Because I didn't know if it was too fine. I was just trying oh, to no. think. No, it's, it's very sturdy. Okay. So how much would some of these items be? Would they be in typical price ranges for items that you would normally see? Well... Well, actually, we only have a, a couple. They, they'd probably be a little higher than... Because it's mm -hmm. a premium yeah. wool, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's different. Yeah. 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 All it's right, so what beautiful. would be so surprising to most of us? We've learned a lot about alpacas. What was surprising to you when you first heard about this idea? Because not everybody says, my new hobby is going to be get an alpaca, oh, keep it on yeah. a farm, <laughs> and I'll start knitting. Yeah. Well, I actually, I was teaching at the farm first before the idea of, okay. of having my own alpaca came up, you know. And they're just so sweet. I'm there quite quite a bit. Yeah. And they're just fun to hang out with. And and um, too funny. That's good to Well, know. it's good to see you all. Well, thanks for coming in. Thank so you're you telling so us much. we could take them for a walk. Could they mow my yard? They just eat the good grass. They <laughs> eat the bad they stuff. Could, actually. That's the whole thing. They just eat the yes. good grass. They leave all the bad stuff behind. So even with our, our pastures, we still have to mow the pastures. Okay. Oh, I yeah, see. Okay. They, they eat everything out there, but there's like a lot of garbage. Yeah, that doesn't that they don't, don't do. All right. All right, good Thank to see you all. Guys Thanks so for much. Making the much. effort to come uh -huh. in this morning. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah.